Hello, let's continue our discussion on the fleshing element. So last time we at least different uh, parameters and we try to see the stream result and also and uh, around stream result we try to see the mode fractions, mass fractions and different parameters and also we went to the diff the profile area and we differentiate the the mass fractions around uh, on different uh, bits in the distillation column and uh, so the, so we also try to see uh, in the mole bases and mass bases we also try to see this k value and the Henry constant so let's continue and let's see uh, let's, let's go to the stream result and let's see the mole flows so if we see the mole flow the in the top product and at the top stream or in the distillate stream you can see that there is 194 uh, uh, methyl is uh, coming out so still we are missing six around uh, six uh, 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 pound per pound mole per hour of the methyl cyclohexane so let's try to see uh, to improve uh, this amount on the top uh, stream. Let's try to increase this this thing and uh, let's let's go to the Import or we can go to the main stream and we can uh, Go to the phenol stream and we can add uh, This 100 1100 to we can make it 100 and 600 and then we can run the process and let's see if there is a change on that 194 is increasing or uh, decreasing let's see the change if there if, we, if there is a change so we can do uh, something more on the distillation column i mean so we'll see that so if we see that the we yeah we can see the increment and in the on the distal stream the methyl cyclohexane is increasing so uh, let's see the the uh, the mass fraction or the mole flow of the all the component uh, around all streams I mean in the distal stream on the bottom stream so we can see that when you add uh, one kg of one kilogram or one mole of the uh, sol solvent, the phenol, and we can see the impact of that increment of one mole of one increment and one mole uh, phenol is uh, affecting the output of the uh, the product. Uh, so we can see each and every increment the impact of each and every increment on the product stream So we call that sensitivity analysis So the sensitivity analysis will help us uh, to choose the the correct parameter the right parameter or the right operating condition or where to operate where to stop your process or where to stop the fluoride where to stop the uh, the feed of material or the way to stop the feed of uh, the, uh, the feed or anything so the sensitivity analysis will help us to decide uh, or to stop or to continue or to do something on your process uh, to do the sensitivity analysis so we may go to the, the model <coughs> to the model uh, let's go to the model and uh, let's click on the sensitivity analysis then click on the new button and so by default we can see that s1 is uh, appearing so click on uh, ok then click on here so from the uh, so here we here we want to vary the we we feed the the material or the stream we wanted to vary so still, uh, still click on the new button, and so let's. Uh, so we uh, want to vary uh, this stream, the phenol stream. Uh, so we want to vary and see the impact of phenol 
on the on the this stream on the top stream let's go back to the sensitivity area and here we are trying to vary the type of variable in a stream variable so that is the stream variable stream variable and the stream is the phenol stream you can see here from here the stream is the phenol stream and so let's continue the, so the variable that we wanted to uh, vary is the so we are working in terms of more so we can uh, select the more flow so we this we vary uh, so the more flow and we will see the output uh, so the other thing uh so we we want to st start from uh maybe from 1000 uh up to uh 2000 so or we can start from our starting point 100 1200 to 200 or you can select the increment so that uh so here you can fill the interval you want to see the change or you can see uh, within one uh, L uh, pound per pound mil, more pound mole per hour, or we can see the change maybe ten uh, ten pound mole per hour. It's, it's up to us. So we can select the increment, or we can select the number of points. So we, we can select the maybe you can say uh, just show me uh, partitioning in one hundred places. So it's up to us. We can select. Uh, in terms of also we can use one of them so the read button has gone and so let's uh, define our variables so so let's see uh, here you may see the mass fraction of uh, methyl cyclohexane. hexane uh, and let's see at the other parameters for example we can see the the net heat or heat duty or the uh, so of the condenser uh, and the heat duty of the reboiler so Q of the condenser and uh, Q of the reboiler so so here we just we planning to see uh, the the impact of the change of phenol uh, on the heat duty and on the mass fraction of the output. So this is the block variable. Uh, you can see let's let's start from the mass fraction. So the mass fraction is stream variable. So we want to see the mass fraction on this stream, and so that's the stream variable. So the type is the mole fraction. So let's select the mole fraction. The stream is the top stream, uh, and the component we want to see is methyl cyclohexane. So let's also define the the duty of the condenser. That's the block variable. So we'll see the Q of the condenser on the block. So we can call it the block variable, and the block is the distillation column and we name the distillation column dc so and so so the variable is let's uh, search here uh, just so we are trying to see uh, to calculate the condenser uh, heat security and also defend the reboiler duty uh, the because when we add some materials so there would be the loss in energy or there will be gain in energy so we will see the impact of the uh, incre increasing the amount of phenol on the heat duty of the reboiler so this is the block variable and the block is the distillation column and still we do the same thing uh we can search you from uh so we, we want to see the impact 
on the reboiler it did so so the other thing let's go to the here and we can click here fill the variable okay so now we can run the process and we can see the the impact or the sensitivity analysis or each incoming uh, impact on the output and on the heat dt so we're running the process so let's look here let's see the result so if you see the result so we can see so you, you can see the very the phenol and so look here there is uh you can see the increment on uh the amount of the mass fraction on the top stream so so now uh and if you see the condenser dt uh there is no significant change but if we see uh the reboiler duty so there is uh here it's around 3.1 and it's slightly increasing so it's slightly increasing uh, so uh so the no we can see this thing using the plot or xy graph you can see on xy graph so mm, let's click on custom plot so here we can select uh, on the x-axis we can select the phenol uh, and on the y-axis we can see uh, those uh, or let's see the mass fraction of methyl cyclohexyl So we can see that the graph of the the methyl cyclohexane uh, mass fraction, mole fraction of methyl cyclohexane versus uh, the phenol is, you know, as we increase the amount of phenol, so the conversion is also the purification also increasing. Uh, let's add those more parameters and let's go to the custom plot and let's select here the phenol and at the x-axis uh, the phenol fluoride and on the y-axis you can select from here uh, we can select the mole fraction of and the uh, condenser uh, dt and the reboiler dt uh, and we can easily see from the graph click on the so this the green is the condenser uh, duty it requirement uh, as we add or as we increase more uh, the more uh, solvent but if you see the reboiler duty uh, the red one is the, this is you can save red actually so this one is the reboiler duty it's increasing there is a slight change or a slight increment because we are adding more feed uh, uh, to the distillation column so it requires uh, the reboiler more energy so if we see the condenser but there is no change also uh, so we can see the impact of the addition of more phenol on the output so why we doing this so just to decide where to stop what to do or uh, just to see the change each and everywhere on the process and or if we increase uh, just we can see just using the sensitive analysis with an each increment and with an each increment we can see the impact on the product on the process or on the other parameters so this uh, is very important area and this is very dynamic and very powerful so to make a decision at a company level or as a chemical engineer or 